Race you to take the number plates off? Yeah, sure. Cool. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh no. You probably got yours on speed two, eh? Yeah, got it. Ah, speed one. Well, I lose. One. This is the Ryobi four volt screwdriver, and this is why you need one. So this uses a four volt battery and it's non-removable. So you do charge it on the port on the bottom here. It doesn't use any of Ryobi's other ecosystems. So it doesn't use your 18 or your 36 volt or even your 40 volt and you wouldn't want it to because this is quite a small compact tool. It is really versatile. So you've got a couple of options on the top here. So you've got two different speed settings. So you can go at 600 or 200 RPM. And you've also got a lever on the top where you can actually swivel the screwdriver to enable you to use this in circumstances where if it was in the traditional screwdriver format you wouldn't be able to get the handle in. So quite ergonomical, it's really light as well and the system that it uses is a quarter inch hex drive and this comes in the package from Ryobi with the screwdriver, the AC adapter and 18 of the quarter inch hex drive bits all in a nice tidy bag. Okay, so a simple application here is just removing a number plate. I do have a hex bit on here, and um, we'll take it off with speed one to start with. And then we'll go to speed two just so you can see the difference there. So it's definitely a lot quicker, and then we can then Swap the plates out for uh, OGSTI on a uh, WRX. How fitting. And I'll do it up in speed one and then I'll do it up in speed two. And this is speed two. Okay, so that was a pretty simple application, just removing that number plate there. But um, when we come to something a little bit more complex, like you might find a, uh, a nice chair in the attic there, this thing uh, is beautiful. But um, say you wanted to sort of remove these screws, well, you, you, you can't get the, the footprint of this tool in here, so the head of the tool here can't actually, you, you can't fit it in there. It gets quite awkward. And I mean, even if I do sort of swap it around, which is to the other setting there, you just can't fit it in there. So that does become quite annoying. Um, if you had like an extended, an extension on here, you could then probably get it in like that. But um, that doesn't come with a row, but they just give you some little um, sort of bits like that. But um, an extension there would really help you out. I will show you taking off these things here and how you change the, um, the bits out. So they just literally slide out. Slide out, grab your next one, slide it back in. So the use and application about putting things like kitset furniture together um, really will save you the time. But um, I do find that um, the settings 1 and 2 on here, so 1 being the slower setting and 2 being the quicker setting, that when you are doing things like that real thin kitset packaging sort of furniture, speeds 1 and 2 can be a little bit too quick. And sometimes when you're starting the screw in there, you really like to feel it to make sure you got it right and aligned and in the hole. And then, you know, if you're using a normal screwdriver, you can do it at your own pace and you can feel the, you know, the two pieces of wood come together. I feel this is probably a little too quick. So it would be really nice from Ryobi to have a real slow speed so that you can feel it as you do it. And then maybe then have one and two that are slightly a little bit quicker. So that's something I'd, I'd recommend. So definitely if you're using this to do kit set furniture, be a little bit careful because the speeds here can be a little bit too quick. This does have five newton meters of torque, so... I mean, you could probably get more torque into it if you were to screw hard with your hand, but um, this is definitely enough torque to put that finish together, but you do just need to be a little bit careful with it. I'll put this back in so you can see um, see an application again. So, I mean, this is pretty stout furniture. And this is speed one. See, like there, when you're trying to get that screw started, it would be nice to be slow, steady, and just feel it come together. And then speed two on here, it is pretty quick. So, you know, if you were doing that thin boxwood type furniture, you could have the tendency to maybe rip it or split the wood there. So just be careful when doing that. So that's everything you need to know about Ryobi's 4-volt screwdriver. 
So what's really good with this tool is that it comes in its own sort of 4 volt battery, comes with its own charger, so you don't have to be already invested in Ryobi's 18 volt or 36 volt range, you can just buy this as is and you're good to go. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations yeah. on the win, man. I was man. about to say, you're going to congratulate me on the oh, win. I sure better off quicker than you. Yeah, yeah. How's what? that big scratch going? Well, yeah, I dropped this in uh, disappointment of losing to yeah. you, you know, of all people. Great thing about these tools is at the price they are, $59, they're fantastic for gifts. We've been gifting these left, right and centre, and yeah. actually, come to think of it, I bought you that, and you bought me this. I bought you that one. So it's only fair we... Uh, we swap. We swap. Absolutely. There we go, happy days. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.